Well, let's take you to Kenya, where a Nairobi-based artist incorporates Braille into her artwork so they can be experienced by people with visual impairments. Tina Benoway says that her paintings are made to be felt as well as seen. In a studio in Nairobi, Kenyan artist Tina Benara creates paintings for the visually impaired. For the past three and a half months, she has been working on a project that incorporates Braille into her works. Part of a project to help children who suffer from early preventative blindness enjoy art. I had to really focus on learning Braille. This is an important aspect when you're going to work with visually impaired individuals and blind people that you get their language accurate because if they can go into a world with accuracy and open-mindedness we should be also able to uh, dictate that towards ourselves internally. The use of Braille matches Benara's style which utilizes text and layers of paint to create a textured canvas. Braille is employed to directly or indirectly describe specific characteristics of the painting offering visually impaired people a way to explore the themes. Uh, that's why the One of Benara's latest works is Opendo Nikazi, meaning love is work. It's been donated to the Intercontinental Hotel in Nairobi. Maurice Kinyua, who is partially sighted, and Winnie Awino, who permanently lost her sight five years ago, are among those who have experienced the piece. When you read the, the, the painting, you, we have an ocean, an ocean and oil which is spilling and that gives you uh, the picture of a, a, a very corrupt environment, an environment whereby the water that we are supposed to be drinking, the water that is, is supposed to be used by, 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 by human beings is being corrupted, is, 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 is being contaminated. So the painting gives the, 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 the visual impaired people the, the feeling of, of, of what people talk about, of what we imagine. Benara's art is also for sale, with the aim of raising money to start a recreation center for people with disabilities. She plans to produce more artwork and intends to include more braille and even sounds. It's amazing when you can feel what others can only see. And that's it on Network Africa today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Anne Wawadu.